Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Vinny the Handyman. Today, I'm on top of the roof of Denver, Colorado. It's a beautiful view downtown. But anyhow, the reason for this video is because you guys probably want to change out the motor in your swamp cooler. I'm gonna show you how to do that in today's video. Let's get to it. Okay, so the homeowner was saying that this motor was making a loud noise. Um, it's probably 10 years old, so we're gonna go ahead and replace this motor anyway. Uh, I picked the one up from Home Depot for about $140, I believe. So these aren't too pricey. Uh, main thing before working on your swamp cooler, make sure your power is turned off. Okay, unplug this motor. Um, I unplugged the pump as well you just don't want no electricity around this bad boy when you're working um, if you feel like you should turn it off at the panel please do so uh, especially if you're new at this go turn it off down at the panel um, you don't want to get electrocuted okay so today's video is obviously to replace this motor it's not difficult okay um, you got these two clamps on both sides we're gonna remove those remove the belt and replace it out the most important thing is is to make sure that this belt is nice and tight or semi-tight when you put it back on. As you can see, here's the original. So you got a little bit of slack to it, not much. All right. And you see how that motor kind of vibrates with it. So it does have a little bit of play. All right, so that's about as much slack as you want, okay? All right, so it's important to hold on to these clips. They will fall off on you. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna go on the way you took it off, all right? So you see how that's just sitting in there? Okay. Alright, so now we can take the belt off. Alright, and that's what you're left with. Alright, so I picked up this motor from Home Depot. Uh, I matched the same motor. This is the uh, half horsepower. So the same type of motor that was recommended for this unit. So when you unbox this thing, this is exactly how it looks. So what we need to do now is to make sure that this pulley comes off. So make sure you get your Allen wrench key and then we're going to take this pulley and put it on this one. Okay, so this is to give you a better look at it. Um, you only need to unscrew the inside. You'll notice that there's two Allen wrench nuts here. Just do the inside one. Uh, if you have a large screwdriver or pry bar, all you gotta do is just kinda tap it along so it pops off, okay? Pretty simple. All right, so now we're gonna put it on this one. There's a new one. And you wanna try to line this up just right after you set the belt because you don't want it to be too crooked okay like that you don't want it cockeyed so we'll put the motor back in and then we'll set this in place to make sure the belt's nice and even with the fan okay so the next step is to cannibalize this cord this cord is still good we're just going to undo it from here and then put it on the new one right here All right, so before you dismantle this, I would take a picture of it just in case you forget or refer back to this video. And again, the black goes to the hot. White is in the center, that's your neutral. Red goes to the other load side and green to your ground up top, all right? So take a picture of it and duplicate it. Okay, once again, we have our black, which is going to be the hot. 
Let's see what it says, H. Right. And that's just going to snap into place. And black goes to H. Alright, now we're going to do our ground wire. Okay, once that Allen wrench key is tightened down, now we're going to put on our clamps. Okay, just make sure these clamps go right back on these uh, little teeth marks. Now you can tighten her down. Okay, really quick, just to recap, make sure that you have your Allen key nice and tight on the inside of this uh, little pulley here. Next, make sure that this is nice and tight, these support clamps, that they grab the teeth. Um, if these are loose, then the belt will fall off and this will kind of start to shake and you don't want that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and test it out and see what we got. This thing back in and test it. Water pump back in. Okay, so everything looks good. All right, guys, if you think about starting your handyman business, definitely get one of these cargo vans. Get rid of the cars, the small trucks, get a cargo van. You can put all your tools in it. Everything's secure. I don't want to say organized, but definitely secure. And you can put ladders, whatever you want, lock it up, and you're done for the night. So definitely get one of these vans if you guys think about starting your handyman business. All right, guys, that concludes this video. I hope you were able to learn something from this um, swap cooler motor installation. All the motors are pretty much the same, and they fit all swamp coolers, so it doesn't matter what you get. Just make sure you get the right horsepower for your unit. Other than that, with any of the handyman signing out, stay confident, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.